Climate, it is weird in New England. <laughs> I mean, like today, possibly a golf day, and then there's going to be some snow on the ground tomorrow. Yeah, 60 today, winter weather advisory tonight. Hello, New I mean, England. Good to see gotta you. Gotta love it, right? Yeah. Let's take a look because we have a lot to talk about. And we'll start off with the radar. A little lull in the rain after that super soaker yesterday. Picked up about one to two inches of rainfall. We've got another quarter to a half an inch of rain on the way for today. Then tonight into Wednesday, cold air starts to return. And as it does, we'll see that rain starting to mix with and change over to snowfall after midnight tonight. I don't think you'll make wake up to much on the ground tomorrow morning. But during the morning hours of Wednesday, we are expecting to see snowfall with some minor accumulations expected. It'll be drier in the later afternoon and evening hours. So we're not talking a blockbuster here, but as little as one and as much as three inches of snowfall possible over the course of the morning hours on Wednesday over Block Island, Martha's Vineyard in Nantucket, a little bit less according to an inch of snowfall and actually up towards the Boston area in Worcester and points north of that. We're looking at little to no accumulating snowfall. So it's really right here in southeastern New England. Where we've got a little dose of that wintry weather tomorrow. The main impact is going to be to the morning commute. Now this morning you step outside and it feels like spring. We're running in the mid to upper 50s in New Bedford and Newport. This is what it looks like right now in the Newport area Providence at 57. Those winds have been busy tonight southwest at 21 miles per hour a sustained and we're gusting still over 30 at times in Plymouth Hyannis and when wind gust of nearly 30 miles per hour in Providence still a southwest wind that's a mild wind direction for us it's pushing in all that warm air over the eastern United States but changes are coming can you make out where the cold front is starting to cross into western Pennsylvania right now that front's going to continue to push to the east and as it does we'll see that rainfall returning to our area in the afternoon. It's behind that front that we start to mix with and change over to some snowfall. So let's time everything out for you. This is nine o'clock this morning during the morning commute. A little bit of fog and possibly some pockets of drizzle or light shower. Not much organized rainfall first half of the day today. This is at noon in the afternoon, though, that rain will start to fill back in and some of it could be heavier at times in the afternoon and evening hours. This is at seven o'clock. Notice we're still very mild. We'll go from nearly 60 this afternoon, low 50s at seven o'clock even at midnight tonight. We still have some spots that are in the 40s. So as we start to get those temperatures dropping into the 30s, we'll start to mix with and change over to some snowfall. This is around two o'clock in the morning, still above freezing everywhere. So that snow as it falls likely melting as it hits the ground. But as the temperatures continue to cool towards the Wednesday morning commute and we're hovering right around say 30 to 32 as that snowfall is light to moderate, they start to stick on the roadways, your driveways and your sidewalks and make travel a little difficult tomorrow morning. This is at noon tomorrow. We were still seeing some snow falling. It'll move out in the afternoon with dry skies at three o'clock and those temperatures in the lower 30s. So again, about one to three inches of snowfall tomorrow morning. Temperatures are much colder than what we're going to see today with highs only in the lower to mid 30s. Thursday's high near 32 were dry during the daytime Friday, but then Friday night into Saturday temperatures warm again and the rain fills back in. We've got heavy rain Saturday morning with any luck. We may be able to push the system out of here for the later day and evening hours of Saturday. It'll be windy and milder and lingering shower possible late Saturday night or early Sunday, but overall Sundays your drier half of the weekend near 50 degrees back to cool weather early.